Hi there, it's Eugene Emner with Broadway World TV. I'm at the infamous Lori Beachman Theater with award-winning cabaret sensation Josephine Sanchez. Hey Josephine, how are hey, you? Hey Eugene, how are you? So great to be here with you today. Thank you. So you're going to be coming back for one night only. One night only. February 28th. Mm -hmm. Come rain or come shine. That's right, no matter what the weather. Singing the songs of Harold Arlen, mm -hmm. who is, in my opinion, a, was a master, Absolutely. a master of the American songbook, mm -hmm. and one of my all-time favorite songs, of course, which is probably a lot of people's favorite song, is Over the Rainbow. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't know if a lot of people even realize that he wrote that, unless they're a huge Wizard of Oz fan. Oh, or, exactly, yeah. But this is what I, I find really great about Cabaret, and then we'll you know discuss why you decided to honor his music and perform his music, but I know that there's obviously going to be a blend of the very well-known songs and maybe some songs that people have never heard of. Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah. And, um, I mean, the fact is, people don't know Harold Arlen's name. They don't associate him with The Wizard of Oz and A Star is Born, you know, Judy Garland version, that is. Um, and it's just, it's interesting to me. Um, they say that it's probably because he never had a hit on Broadway, where a mm. lot of the others had hits on Broadway and their name would then be associated with those things. But um, yeah, absolutely the American Songbook standards, uh, ha you know, are made up of so many of his beautiful melodies. I love what is it, stormy weather? Mm -hmm. Stormy weather, right. Love, I mean, all of these gorgeous songs that when you hear them, at least for me, it, it brings you to that place. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that your director is Jeff Harner. Yes. We love Jeff. We love Jeff. Now, did, how did this come about for you? How did you decide that you wanted to sing the music of Harold Arlen? Um, well, I've always been a fan uh, of the music, um, mainly through Judy Garland. You know, and uh, as a kid, uh, I didn't have a stereo. It was just the few albums that my mother had, and she had a stack of Judy Garland albums that I listened to over and over again. Um, so there was already that connection to my own childhood, of course, The Wizard of Oz. Um, but it's actually when I went to see Jeff Harner at uh, the Beach Cafe, and uh, he was doing a tribute. I forget exactly to who, forgive me, but um, I thought to myself, yeah, maybe it's time for me to do another tribute show. I had done a tribute show to Anne Hampton Calloway. Oh, um, we love her too. Know. Yeah, we <laughs> love her. And uh, just just seemed like a natural segue in a, uh, to do the music of Harold Arlen. She had covered a lot of those songs too, so some of those were already in that show, and it just, it just seemed like a natural thing to do. And this is basically a musical journey. Mm -hmm. And how do you, mm -hmm. for you personally, when you connect to a song that touches you and then maybe a song that you've never sung, is there a process that you go through to be able to really dig deep to make it your own? Um, you first have to find, you know, whatever the intention is for you personally. Um, you know, placement in the show sometimes dictates that too. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, interpret that according to whether you're singing something to the audience, for the audience, it's true. Um, or if you're conjuring up a memory of someone you loved, still love, um, so many different things. That's what I love also about cabaret, well and music in general, is the way that you can touch people at different stages of their life for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Someone might hear over the rainbow and go, oh my god, my I had to hear that 25,000 times, I'm so sick of it. Oh, yeah. And someone might hear stormy weather or something like that and go, oh God, that's just bring, you know, and it, into it. So it's interesting that it's different for everybody. For you though, with working with Jeff and John, how did you, with such a large repertoire of songs, how did you go about choosing? Was it the story of what you wanted to tell or was it just, these are my favorite songs? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Um, it was more of these are the songs you almost have to do mm -hmm. if you're going to do a tribute to Harold Arlen. You can't leave. There's so many things you can't leave out. Right. So that kind of dictated, um, you know, what we chose to do, and uh, and then we inserted some of the lesser known things like Napoleon, 
um, from the musical Jamaica. A lot of people don't See, know I, that. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and some other, you know, really, really cool things. Sleeping Bee, I don't know if people associate that with Harold Arlen or, or even remember it until they hear it again. Um, but, uh, what about you? What's, if you had to choose your top three out of the entire show, if you don't mind, you know, expressing this too mm -hmm. because if you, if you want it to be a surprise I understand but if there was like <laughs> your top three or even your top two what would they be uh, well over the rainbow right um, it's funny when I started in cabaret I remember saying to John you know can't we just sing over the rainbow because he you know wanted to do all these interesting arrangements and I wasn't ready for that at the time um, and now it's like oh, we can finally do over the rainbow because it's so, sort of one of those things that you don't do because everybody does it right so you leave it out, but again, how do you do a Harold Arlen tribute out over the and rainbow. not sing over the rainbow? It's like you said, the arrangement or how you choose to interpret yeah. that might be different than somebody else like Judy Garland. Absolutely, <laughs> right, right. Um, for me, I was when I was singing that song, I was just thinking about, um, you know, the more difficult times of my life and not being able to really express myself through music in all the ways that I wanted to, and. Uh, Believe it or not, now being able to do that in this world of cabaret, um, sort of like being on the other side of mm -hmm. that being held down in a way, in mm -hmm. sort of a black and white world. Um, not that I want to disrespect what I do for a living, I sing for the church, um, but there's only so much freedom to interpret that you have because you're singing with other people, mm -hmm. not for or you know for them mm -hmm. um, that makes so, sense yeah. so I also grew up in the church my, my mother was a music of minister mm -hmm. or music minister yeah uh, and I, I know exactly what you're talking about mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you kind of have to stay within certain parameters and uh, cabaret allows you to kind of stretch and it's sort of really like black and white to color so. I love that you that you put it that way. Yeah. I think that's why I've always been so drawn to cabaret myself because I don't feel that I'm being put in a box. Now that we're opening up about it, even the church, I, I was trained in opera. So I mm -hmm. received a vocal performance degree in opera. And mm -hmm. even though I love that I got this training, it's really helped me. Sure. And there's beautiful music that has been around for you know, centuries. Mm -hmm. But I always felt in many ways restricted in that because I didn't feel that I could connect. I like to connect to an audience mm -hmm. and tell the story in my own way. And that's exactly what you're doing and what most cabaret performers are doing. It gives, like you said, a freedom. Mm -hmm. A freedom of expression and it reintroduces music to younger generations. Yeah. I hope so. I, that's really, don't you think that's our continued goal is to be able to do that? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have now John Cook is mm -hmm. your music director, mm -hmm. and then you also have. Who I have else? Steve Smith on the trumpet, and trumpet is not uh, an instrument you often hear in cabaret. So that was, but again, a lot of those melodies just demanded it. Um, and we have Tom Hubbard on bass. Nice. Yeah. I actually love that you're bringing in trumpet. Yeah. Because, like you said, it's it's not as um, well. Not everybody does that yeah. or sees it. Or this is a good room for it too. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bigger than than some of the other rooms. We love the Beachman, don't yeah, we? Yeah, <laughs> we do love the Beachman. <laughs> so this is your fifth time doing the show, and you're bringing it back. And yeah. if anyone has not seen the show, please come out. Please come out, yeah. But if you have seen the show, come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Support it, bring your friends. There are so many timeless classics. And we appreciate your time today and spread the word. And, and if you're in Chicago, I'm bringing it to Davenport's March 29th. So please come out to that one as well. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you. And thank you for introducing oh. or reintroducing the music of Harold Arlen. Oh, thank you. I really am very excited about For me, it will be the first time, so I can't wait. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks thank so you. much, Josephine. Bye-bye.